Welcome to Tech Notebook, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a traffic light setup using LEDs, a Raspberry Pi, and the GPIO pins. So let's get started. Okay, so here are the things you'll need for your project. So You'll need a Raspberry Pi. I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi 3A Plus for this tutorial, but you can use any other Raspberry Pi 3 you want. I have a 3B here too, but you can also use the B Plus. You'll need three resistors, which are 1K ohms. You need three LEDs, uh, green, yellow, and red. You'll need four male to female jumper wires. And you'll also need three male-to-male -male jumper wires. And then finally, to hook it all together, you'll need a breadboard. Now we're in the wiring section of the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is take a male-to-female jumper cable, plug the female end into the bottom leftmost pin on the Raspberry Pi, which is the ground. And you want to plug that other end into the negative rail on the breadboard. So then now you want to take a male to male jumper cable and plug that in right below the cable we just plugged in. And plug that cable into any of these rows that you like. I'm going to plug it into this one. So then now from there you want to take a one of your 1K ohms resistors and you want to plug uh, the one of the ends of the resistor into the same row that you plugged in the this jumper wire right here and then you want to plug the other end of the resistor into one of these rows on the other side now you want to take your red LED and make sure the shorter end is on the same row as the resistor which is right here and then the longer end should be um, on the row below the resistor and then now you want to take um, one of your uh, male to female jumper cables again and then connect uh, the male end onto the positive end of the LED. And then you want to plug the other end into the bottom rightmost pin, which is GPIO 21. Okay, so here is all the code we'll be using for this tutorial. So to access this code, I will have a GitHub. So this is this is it right here. So what you want to do to uh, download it is to click clone or download and click download zip. So that aside, let's open the code again. So here, um, it's basically somewhat similar to my last tutorial. So if you haven't watched that, I um, encourage you to check it out. I will link it in the iCard. So I uh, imported the packages, the same from last tutorial, and then I set up the GPIO pins um, and configured the green, yellow, and red LEDs right here. Then I set up a try finally loop. So basically a uh, try finally um, makes it so that once you keyboard interrupt, the code which is in the while loop which I will explain in a moment it'll just run this gpio.cleanup statement just to clean up the pins at the end so now in this while a while loop it'll keep looping um, continuously so what this red, red loop will do is to um, uh, turn on the red LED um, print red go to sleep for four seconds and turn off the red LED. And same for yellow. And for green, it'll turn on the green LED. It'll print green. 
go to sleep for four seconds and then print the dashed line and um, turn off the green LED. And then once you keyboard interrupt the code, it'll obviously go to this gpio.cleanup and it'll clean up all the pins. Okay, so now that we have all our code, we just want to select all of it and copy that. Now we want to go into our SSH terminal and type in nano and then name the file. I'm just going to name it 5.py and open that. And then now you just want to right click to paste it all in. And as you can see, it has pasted all of it. And then you want to click Control X, Y, and then Enter. And now you want to type in Python 5.py. And then you want to click Enter. And then now, as you can see, the LEDs are glowing. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.